Hi first graders! I'm back with a read aloud today and as I'm doing a read aloud I have a little activity I want you to be thinking about um, so that you can do an activity when we're done with our lesson for today. Okay, so here's our objective to, of today after I do our story and the book that we're going to read is called Officer Buckle and Gloria and I bet some of you already have read this book before so you'll have a pretty good idea of it. Here's our job. I can write a safety tip and tell why it's important. A safety tip is like some of the rules that we have here uh, at Scott School, like being safe, being respectful, being responsible, remembering to walk in the hall. And then you're going to tell me today, too, why it's important. So a lot of you have told me um, at the beginning of the year, it's really important to walk in the hall because if you don't, you might trip and fall and you could really hurt yourself, especially if you're running, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do a read aloud and as I'm reading, go ahead and think about a safety tip. It could be from the book or one of your own. And then later you're gonna write me a letter and tell me why that's important. Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Let's see if I can get us a little bit closer. Here we go. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Here you can see this is his chair and it's swiveling because it can move around. Uh-oh, look what happens when he stands on it. Dangerous. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with students at Napville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Ooh, look at these kids. Afterward, uh, it was business as usual. Ms. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Miss Topple didn't hear him. I wonder what's going to happen to her. Then, one day, Napville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Oh yeah, take a look at Gloria there. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Napville School. 
every letter had a drawing of, who is that again? That's right, it's Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. His favorite was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, You and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. Here's Claire right there. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumb-tacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips and please bring along that police dog. <laughs> I love this picture. Take a look at my friend Gloria there in the background. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and they listened. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. <clears throat> then... One day, a television news team vi videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. Wow, look at all those people there. Oh no! Take a look at this page. I wonder what his safety tip is. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms. The students jumped to their feet and applauded. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. Oh, friends, what do you think he's going to be thinking about now? I'm wondering if he notices the dog, Gloria. The next day, the principal of Knapville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. Oh, look down here. He's frowning. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Miss Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? Oh, here's Gloria. Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep, and so did the audience. After Gloria left, Knapville School had its biggest accident ever. I wonder, friends, if you know what that big accident is. I think somebody was running and they fell. Let's see. <gasps> Uh-oh. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Wow, look at the pudding there. Splat, splatter, splosh. Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple. Oh no, and guess what she's on? She's on a swivel chair. They, uh, everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Wow, look at that stack. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend, oh, there's his friend, Claire. P.S. 
Don't worry, I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Oh, and you can see where that helmet, um, where that hammer landed. That's kind of dangerous. Okay. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose, and Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. And then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. I wonder what that safety tip is. Safety tip 101, always stick with your buddy. The end. I love that book. It's got a lot of great safety tips. And I love that the officer and Gloria become buddies too. All right. Well, so friends, after reading that book, I want you to write me a letter or your teacher's and I want you to send us that letter about a safety tip that you think is important and why it's important, okay? I'm going to move my screen a little bit so you can see all the way down my whiteboard. I'll try and move it a little bit closer. And if you're wondering how to start up a letter, remember, just like Mr. Lee said in his other video, you always want to start with a greeting. And a greeting could be dear, could be hi, what's up, how are you? I'm going to start mine with dear. I'm going to move my board a little bit closer there. So at the top of mine, I'm going to write the word DEAR, capital D-E-A-R. And I'd love for you to write me. So if you would like to write me, that would be great. You can write Mrs. capital M-R-S, period, because it's an abbreviation. And you don't have to write my whole name because it's a really long one. You can just put R. This is R. And then afterwards, we always put a comma. All right, we've got our greeting. Now we need to get the body of our letter, okay? And remember, you're gonna tell me today an important safety tip. So you could start your sentence this way. I might say, a good safety tip, a, start my sentence with a capital, finger space, good, and another finger space, safety. Ooh, I know how to spell the word safe. And then t, e, t, and then the e at the end is going to be spelled with a y. Safety tip, and I can use my sounds for that. T, ip. I'm write it. Tip is is a snap word. And then you can tell me a good safety tip is always walk in the hallways at school. Always remember to wipe the mud off your shoes when you come in from a rainy day outside, okay? Or never stand on a swivel chair, just like an officer um, buckle and Gloria, okay? Then give me a reason why that's a good safety tip. So a good way to start that sentence might be, I think this because, we know how to spell I, I think, and I'm gonna use a finger space and get my word think, Think. This is another snap word. We know how to spell this. T H I S. I think this. Ooh, because. I'm going to break that up. It's one word, but I already know how to spell B. B E. And then cause is C A U S E. I think this because. Hmm, a good safety tip is to always walk in the hallway. I think this because I want people to stay safe and not get hurt. Or I think this because people could break their arms if they run in the hallway, okay? And then I'm gonna put a period at the end of my sentence. If you really wanna stretch yourself today, give me another reason. So you could say another, and I'll help you with the spelling on that. A-N-O-T-H-E-R. Another reason. R-E-A-S-O-N. Is. Hmm. Give me another reason that you think a good safety tip is to walk in the hallway. So another reason is so that other kids don't get hurt. Another reason is to make sure to set a good example for our kindergarten students, right? Okay, and then at the very end of your letter, tell me who it's from. 
Remember when you're closing a letter, it can be closed in a lot of different ways. Sometimes you'll say love, sometimes you'll say your friend, you could say, sometimes I say your teacher or sincerely or from. Today I'm gonna to end my letter with the word from. For, and this one doesn't follow the rules because it should say you, but from doesn't have a U in it. F-R-O-M spells from. From, then I'm gonna put a comma, then I put my name underneath, Mrs. Roosevelt. All right, friends, I can't wait to see what your safety tip is going to be. So go ahead and make your own letter. And if you need some sentence ideas, you can borrow some of mine. Make sure to have at least three sentences, okay? When you're done writing your letter, take a picture of it and have your family send it to me on Class Dojo or in Seesaw or in an email. All right, I miss you guys. Take care. Bye.